what I saw in this balance patch is this. Four of the most popular classes got some love. Bard, one of the most popular in the entire game. Aeromancer, one of the most popular in the game. Newest edition. Sorceress, got loved. Gunsingers, got loved that nobody even asked for. If you're playing Entropy and your class is not mentioned in the balance patch, then you just got nerfed. If, once again, you are a hardcore player. Meteorologist, hey, Amazon, if you ever call my Aeromancer Meteorologist, I'm not making that class. All right, chat. So it's been a day and I streamed the, the balance patch and I let it marinate. I checked all the class forums and uh, read almost all the threads. And one thing I want to remind you guys is that these are patch notes on the PTR and it's going to last for 19 days until the 25th. It might get implemented into the live server first and then they'll pull some data from PTR as well as the live servers and then they're going to do another revision. What I want to say right now is that these are not finalized so don't go like start quitting the game like the Korean players or start buying engravings and right. I'm going to add some opinions and what others are saying and what I wanted to say in, into this as well. So Zerkers mostly got a well-rounded buff because the way I know I noticed Smilegate doing balance patches is they kind of like focus on certain classes, give them more love, I guess. And something that went viral these days is a video in Korea where some dude with like 100 subs made a video called Slayer versus Slay. Slayer is like the gender unlock of Berserker. And he compared side by side animations and the Slayer looks just 100,000 times better. And because of that going viral, I think it got the attention of the developers. So if they just release Slayer alongside with the old Zerker, especially th those are shopping for a new game, new players would look at the difference, be like, why on earth would anybody play Berserker when Slayer looks better, sound better and feels way better? So maybe because of that, they give him some changes. If you want to check the details, I'll post it somewhere, but uh, yeah. So Berserker's technique, you stay in the form less, but you get gauge more, you transform faster. The whole point is to match the speed of current rating environment. They made some of the animations faster for certain skills. They deleted certain skills that were outdated. For the remove skills, if you had a level five tripod, what they're going to do is give you an amulet respective of what level you had. If you have level three, they'll give you a level three amulet, level four, level four amulet, level five, level five amulet. So that when a new skill comes out, you have these amulets and then you can go choose the tripods. Yeah, overall faster animation, meaning you can execute the damage faster within buff windows. So it looks good. Mayhem also got an EHB buff. I know somebody was commentating about it. Another streamer I know, he was talking about how hard they were to kill in PvP already, but now it's gonna be even better. But like, I, I know not a lot of people care about that or PvP, but anyways, they are tankier now. So overall, it's a W. The public reaction zerkers are kind of happy i see a lot of smiles i mean they weren't even expecting much the fact that they even got love is crazy to me because when deadeye got gender unlocked to gunsinger that eyes didn't get anything when striker came out war dancer got nothing no treatment i feel like it's because of that viral hit every time something viral happens they change it that's why it's good to have like a vocal community in korea like that's why i made that tier list video back before the western launch of lost art saying who are the most popular classes and that should help you decide a main because popular classes have the most whiners. That's why gunslingers, they get a lot of love because they have the most whiners. Not because whiners play gunslingers, because their population is huge. Remember, Giga Milk was having a mental breakdown. She's like, what do I do? I don't want to play Lost Ark anymore. I don't want to play Shadow Hunter. What did I tell her? Play the newest class or a class that has been gender unlocked. Don't play something that hasn't been gender unlocked. You want to have the most fun? Play the newest class. You want to play the most broken class in terms of MVP? Play tier one class. You want to play the smogest class? Play the oldest class. That hasn't got reworked. So anyways, let's, let's continue. Gunlancer, TLDR, their damage increased a little bit. The Gunlancer community, TLDR, they want more. Why? Because it's not every day a class gets love right like look how long zerkers needed look how many patches that war dancers didn't get anything so when it's time they have the eye of sauron looking at them they want to get as much as they can that is why they're complaining it's not that the class is unviable it's just that they have smilegate's attention and while they have attention they want to get more out of it before the gaze moves on to some other class it is a w but it's not enough. Like you see the stuff like 4.3%, but they also remove synergy damage. That, it's not that they're unhappy with them. They just want more. Like why is Bash still not having a bigger range? Why don't they make some of these six second buffs into eight seconds? Like just mainstream it like other classes. Those are some of the small complaints that I'm just TLDRing. I mean, their animations changed and they look good. Destroyers, nothing happened to them. 
Paladins are very angry right now. First of all, Bard's Awakening got buffed, so they're a little bit jealous about that. They also want their ult to be better. Like, you know how like Paladins, they go up in the air, and the boss moves, and they land, they don't get gauge. So they also want that, where they get gauge. They also want more stagger, because they took away the stagger. Glaviers, they keep buffing Pinnacle over the years, like every time. Little by little. Same thing with control as well. So as you can see, it's a 4%. But I'll tell you guys something. Um, Glavier, Destroyer. When you look at the rankers, right? You'll notice a pattern. Whether they play Pinnacle or Control, they have Ambush Master. First of all, let's understand why they're going Ambush Master and Entropy. The reason why they're doing that is because the range of usable engravings for Glavier is limited. Number two, they want to deal more damage. They feel like they're middle of the pack. They don't feel outstanding. So in order to feel outstanding as like a, a swiper or a, a Glavier lover who's willing to push their character to the min-max, they want to squeeze more damage. And in the only way, they've looked at every other different ways. Like Glavier has changed the settings so many times in the last nine months, I feel like. They've changed so many times that I had to drop this class for an alt. They feel like they're just middle of the pack and they're just trying to get out. And the only way out is Entropy or Ambush Master. Either specs, they're going Ambush Master. And with that, these jacked people, they're going to go with Entropy Synergy, which is Gunlancer Blade. But that got nerfed by 3% each. Gunlancer 3, Blade 3. So at the end of the day, Destroyers, if you had that Synergy, you're nerfed. If you didn't, you're a casual, which is nothing wrong with that. Or nothing wrong with being hardcore. But if you had a static like I have in KR or NA, I also have back attack synergy in NA. So all entropy classes got nerfed. 4.6% depending on the class per synergy. So up to 5%. If you're a casual glavier with no synergy, then this doesn't affect you. You got a buff. For those that are min maxers with a static group or a raid or friends. I know it's a rare thing. But if you had those and you like to stack synergy... Then you just lost damage. And balance is balanced around those high achievers, the bin maxers. They pull the overextenders and bring it down. So I guess internal data is indicating that Entropy was overperforming compared to Hitmaster. Maybe that is why they brought it down. I don't freaking know. But that's what people are guessing. So Dead Eyes, also, if you play enhanced weapon, you got nerfed. Handgun is a buff, but is it enough? Like these buffs, is it enough to be tier one class? Most are saying no. But may pop off later. This is still wave one. Maybe they get more. I don't know. Overall, what most content creators are saying is that sustainers got more love to be competitive. So Burst is really doing well. And some sustains are doing really well. Like Ayaya, Aramancer, right? As well as Swiftness Summoner. But some were just not doing well. So they brought those up a little bit. So some sustains got love. Like Firepower, Artillerist, they got some love. 4%-ish. Barrage Artillerist did not get nerfed. If this goes live the way it is, for now, what people are thinking is they're going to stay tier one. Barrage. Sharpshooters got a rework, just like Zerkers. So they added a new skill. They're already complaining that the skill effect looks so small. Is this even a 2023 skill effect? Basically, Sharpshooters are very angry. So this guy wrote a comprehensive long post. He's an Esther 6 owner. So he wants more rework. He wants an after service. So revision, and he wants it now. And this guy is another Esther sharpshooter. He says, just give me another pass to change my class. And another Max, one of the ranker sharpshooters, he's just saying bad words. So when Max people are coming here and they're showing you proof before balance patch to 27 million DPS with an Esther 8, which is, which is pretty good. But then after he's doing 5 million less DPS, he's doing the DPS of a 1610 Reaper, 1620-ish Reaper. He's an S3-1655 sharpshooter. There's something wrong here. Now, Trixian isn't everything, once again. But then he's comparing before and after numbers. Basically, what they're thinking is the guys in charge of sharpshooter balance is clueless. These two players made a post already. They're very angry. And they're saying, don't make people who love your game cry. Basically, dude, Loyal Companion I think is fine, but the other one is just like the spec scaling isn't good. I think Smogit is going to do a revision of this, just like they did for Soulfist. Oh, by the way, please change this to all classes. Can we stop having classes that do one damage, one hit, but it's broken into multiple ticks? Like Blast Formation? Like, can we get rid of that? Like, a snipe feels like snipe now. So when they shoot the snipe, it hits and goes boom, big damage. Instead of breaking into multiple ticks. What kind of a sniper rifle breaks into multiple hits? Anyways, basically, sharpshooter mains, don't lose hope. All the big dogs are complaining with facts and some opinions and some bad manners. But granted, they should be angry. But one thing's for sure, whoever's in charge of sharpshooter uh, balancing, uh, he's clueless.
is what they're saying. However, on the other hand, some good news, Gunslingers, Gunslinger, whoever's in charge of balancing Gunslingers, he's doing a good job. Because if you look at the forums, they're just saying, we should pay tribute to this guy. We should bow on our knees for this guy. Scouters, increased damage of normal skills. You know, dang, dang, like your gun, gun skills. Okay, this doesn't mean all skills, not transformation skills. Yellow skills, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're reading this being like, oh, wow, we're going to the moon. You're not. Unfortunately, scouters are also kind of set. Even though these skills have been buffed, they wanted the engraving to be buffed. Increase the damage of drone, now increase the damage of general drone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But wow, this is great. This is not what they wanted. They wanted to just have like a whole rework of this crap engraving. And they didn't get that. That's why most people would deem this balance patch as boring. Because there were no overhauls. Gunsinger, very good. I saw a video about this. Sharpshooter skill. If you miss like the first couple hits, then your last hit will be smoke. So they backloaded the damage. I tested this on live server versus uh, PTR. I did the raid account today and I noticed like, wow, I need this now. So TLDR, great change. Focus shot, focus shot is amazing. It's three hits now. The tripod's changed. Now, why are they doing this? Because in order to adapt to the current meta, not DPS meta, but boss meta they compress it into three shots and it feels good man it feels so good so i could shoot move shoot move like the whole point of gunslinger is staying alive like i need to move this is not like just stand still cast kind of class i need to be always moving you know get the shot off reposition yo can we also get this three shot man Anyways, that's good, man. They also remove like the execute damage. The execute damage means under 50% of the boss HP, you know how they take more damage. The reason why this is good is because during farm content, like uh, Brawl Shouts is farm right now in Korea, the boss fights are really short already. And when a boss fight is short, the time under 50% is way less. So you're doing less skill cycles. A con is still a very long fight. This is great because we're not always doing a con. We might be doing Bro Shaza. So when we do farm content, we still do damage outside of under 50. So over 50, we still do damage is what I'm trying to say. Engraving, they change time to hunt so that your ults, your awakening will crit. The fact that Gunslingers even got a change, a big W, is crazy to me. And Gunslingers are also getting a change where they're not gonna be holding onto their pistols. They complained about this twice during Loa on. I was there. Gunslinger community gets things rolling, dude, because they're popular. All right, Summoners. Summoner is currently performing the highest level in endgame content since the last balance patch, in particular in case of the Summoners who adopted the single imprint of overflowing communi communion, right? They re recorded the highest average damage in top content. Not, and not only the average damage, but also the highest level in analysis of various indicators to all skill damage. So, so all skill damage was lowered. Okay. But didn't spec someone to get buffed? Right here. Spec someone has got buffed. Like this is a W, man. Someone is just like barrage artillerists. They're going to be hanging around tier one. Summoners are big W. Arcanas, nothing changed. Big W. They're going to be hanging around tier one as well. Bard. DPS went up. They have a new skill called Sonatine, Sonatine, whatever, whatever. The TLDR about bards is that I kind of like said this many times. When I played a bard back in 2018, when I was leveling through Arthur Tyne, I realized her skill animation sucked back then. So did she deserve some love, man? Skill effect wise, she, did, she needed some love. And she got that. Look at the wicked. You see the two paladins fighting? You see the two paladins fighting? There's a meme about this. They're making fun of the paladins. Support damage was mentioned during Loa on that it was lackluster. So they got some damage buff. Is it enough? I don't know. But it's a buff. You take those. Same thing with Pallies, right? So they're trying to get these supports on par with artists because artists got some good damage. Bard community overall, they're very happy. Their awakening now is 24 meters. So you could go to Trixian and test it before and after. The range is pretty big. There's a lot of memes in Korea where the Bard does an awakening and she's the only one with the shield. And the three other members, if you look at the HB bar, they don't have the shield. But now it's fixed. It's great. And the damage is increased as well. So it's a buff, but does it mean that I should play a bard instead of an artist or palette? No, no, that's not what it means. It means now they're equal. It means that she finally got something that she deserved so long ago. She got modernized. And bard also has a huge community, right? One of the biggest communities, if not the biggest in Korea. So, and they're happy. Sorceress, they didn't get anything. PvP, okay, all right. PvP, whatever. But in terms of... Uh, Igniter, they dodged the bullet. I can't believe this. But my thoughts, they balance around top rankers with all assortments of synergy. I refuse to believe that they didn't get nerfed because some people at the top 
can't land their spells. Reflux, so people were trying the new explosion build, the new explosion reflux. It's performing better than non-explosion build, but I think there are more tests to be held. But as I said earlier, sustained DPS are getting a push to be more competitive. Now, nobody made a reflux orc in uh, the Western audience or in Korea to be competitive or to beat Igniter or to be like MVP gods all the time. Like we took a hit for convenience as well as the teleport, as well as the playstyle. So I don't think the Reflux community is asking to be the new igniter and put the igniter down. I think what they're asking for is a little bit more competitive edge. And uh, to answer that question, did I get enough? I don't think so, but I think we need to wait and see. Next, Blade, all the synergy skills got nerfed by 3%, which will affect Blades by 2.4 to 2.5%. So remaining also got buffed, but is it enough? Because their own synergy, this affects also their own damage. You can't just look at this and be like, wow, huge buff. Because let's be real, at least in Korea, I don't know about the West. If there's a blade and a gun lancer, we're not going to put a gun lancer in party one and a blade in party two. Most groups, not all, but most will put them together. It only makes sense. And then they'll put a back attacker in there that maybe even provides like crit synergy, like Control Glavier, Pinnacle Glavier, or War Dancer, even Striker, right? So if you're a blade that rolls with a Gun Lancer, you're losing about 5% damage. And also this doesn't apply to Surge damage. That's why I don't understand why remaining energy is getting so hyped in NA in the auction house. Now, I do understand one thing. Running remaining energy one is no longer worth it. If you're broke, it is what it is. But remaining three is the way to go now. That is why engraving price of remaining energy is justified in Korea. It has doubled because most people were cutting corners and going with remaining energy one. Now we're going to talk about demonic shadow hunters. This looks like a buff, right? But once again, if you look at what the, the rankers are doing, once again, it's not balanced around your chaos dungeon class, okay? It's balanced around rankers. But if you look at them, perfect suppression, if you look at perfect suppression, they're tired of running perfect suppression one. They want Perfect Suppression engraving to be reworked. Did they get that this time? No. In order for Perfect Suppression to be competitive, they have to go Ambush Master and they have to go Entropy tier set. So, do you realize something here, guys? There's a pattern. The pattern is this. Entropy is nerfed because Entropy Synergy is nerfed. Don't sit there and be like, but Rankers just pug everything. Maybe some do, but most have a static guild or friends and they are going to get the back attack synergy. Because they're the top dogs, they're the big dogs. Why would you not give synergy to your strongest player in the static group? That makes no sense. That's what I did with St. Tony. I gave him synergy, okay? So we could kill the boss. Why would you not give your strongest players synergy? That makes no sense. Why would you not give them Gun Lancer and Blade? Why would you put them in group two with three sorceresses? So anyways, going back to what I was saying, Perfect Suppression, this is not a buff. If you're Chaos under Perfect Suppression, it's a buff. But this is a nerf. Because Entropy got nerfed. So Shadowhunters are smoke, rightfully so. They're getting no love. Reaper, on the other hand, this looks great, right? But what the hell, man? You can see that moon skills have been significantly more buffed than the hunger skill right here. Silent Smasher didn't get loved as much as these skills. That makes me wonder if internal data was indicating that hunger was stronger than moon. If these changes go live, moon will be the dogs. Right now, hunger reapers are crying on the forums. They're all laying down and crying. Like, do you not love hunger? And then Moon Reapers are like, ha ha ha, don't play that stupid spec. And then the Hunger Reapers are like, why you do this? We're a Reaper community. We are a family. Why would you tell us that? Why can't we all go to the moon together? I don't know. There's a lot of toxicity in the Reaper form sometimes. But anyways, this is great. This is the best part. Persona changed the cancellation timing a little faster after using the skill. So less animation lock. So you're able to execute these three skills into one super cycle way faster i think it's like eight seconds now add in an effect of increasing attack speed by 10 percent when enter entering persona there's like a new meta build where you go swift this necklace and they're doing insane damage even though they're a spec class they have attack speed capped this is now i think one of the busiest specs in the game and you have to land back attacks it's gonna be one of the higher difficulty specs you no longer have the comfort of being able to like sit in animation and then think of your next move. You have to think you have to think three steps ahead now. But you will be rewarded. This guy is doing 33 million DPS. In his max dream setting, barricade and curse all two. So a lot of reapers are cutting rocks right now. Very dangerous, by the way. Very dangerous to cut rocks right now. What if this is reverted? 
I saw a lot of threads in the Reaper form that cut barricade cursed all a nine seven. What if this is reverted? Okay, what are they gonna say? Oh, what do I do with my nine seven? What if this doesn't make it live? The reason why I think it might not make it live. He's not the only one. Other guys are like showing off now. Stop posting videos. You gotta stay silent. This is what happened to War Dancers. They posted videos, got nerfed. Oh, uh, Aeromancer. They got nerfed. So these are Jill Spong Noodle, the Umbrella spec, the Sword spec, and the Weather spec got nerfed as well. Weather got more nerfed. Rip. But anyways, meteorologists have steadily increased their metrics since the class was released and are currently performing very well. Especially the Drizzler Airmaster, which has the highest average damage in Endgame. This was judged to be somewhat excessive when considering that Airmaster class characteristics, synergy, and operation method. So what are they saying here? They did say in the official trailer that Airmaster is a synergy class. So what does that mean? Are they doomed from the birth? So if you have a little bit of synergy, you're not allowed to do good damage? Is that what they're saying? We don't know yet. Therefore, the damage of some skills have been lowered in consideration of the characteristics and positions of the two job imprints. So this raises a red flag to me. So what are you saying right now? That I should not play a synergy DPS? That I should be a synergy goblin? Which is my birthright? So I should play Slayer? Okay, I'll play Slayer then. They nerfed my baby, man. But she was strong. And I was hiding that. Well, maybe not. I did tell you guys it was broken before her release too, so... Once again though, her gameplay did not change. Her gauge generation, her synergy uptime has not changed. Her animations, according to this, has gotten better? What? So you're telling me you buffed the newest classes animation. Bard as well, Sharpshoot as well, but not old classes. Wait, did they nerf the graphics? Hold on a second here. Did they make it so that we can see the floor? Oh, hell no. Let me check this out. I could see the floor. No! I don't want to see the floor. Oh, that's what they changed. The rain. Relying heavily on back attack synergy was weird, so I think it's good adjustment. They should have buff entropy gear set as well. This is how the community feels, right? So for those that got no mentions, imagine how they feel, right? You feel like they don't care. War dancers, scrappers, right? Solfus. How do they feel? Like, let's go through what they're feeling. They probably feel like shit. But then they got nerfed as well. So not only did they not get any mentions, but they silently got nerfed. If they ever made a post like the developer's note saying, hey, war dancers or scrappers or whoever wasn't mentioned, hey, you guys were doing too well with the synergy. We got to bring you down. Internet data says so. Then okay, sure. But then they didn't even get that. They didn't even get, they just got the silent treatment plus nerf. Of course, they're gonna feel like shit. It's not that they feel bad that Sork or Barrage Artillerist didn't get touched or Akana. It's just that Entropy got nerfed. So they're like, hey, why did you touch us? Wow, you touched us? Then bring them down too. Like what they're going through psychologically, right? Yeah, it's not fair, right? What well, is what they're saying. It's like this, right? Like if someone gets buffed, I want to get buffed too. If someone gets nerfed, I want them to get nerfed too. That's how people think in general, right? But you know what? They say time heals all wounds, man. All right, guys, that covers the balance patch, I guess.